Ireland was impressed. Here was a modern air force which looked ready to rival those of Britain and France in both quality and quantity. By the outbreak of the war in 1939, the Luftwaffe appeared to be the most powerful in the world. Its performance during the invasion of Poland that September seemed to confirm this impression. was fatally flawed. The Luftwaffe failed to establish the right priorities for new types of aircraft and increasingly lacked the production resources to produce sufficient quantities of planes. The high command suffered from internal rifts and disorganization. It dissipated its strength on ground combat roles. These and other blunders would eventually lead it and Germany Treaty of Versailles, which formally ended World War I. Germany had secretly put in place the framework for the Luftwaffe before Hitler came to power in 1933. Under the Nazis, the pace of its growth quickened dramatically and demonstrated that Germany had finally thrown off the shackles of Versailles. By 1935, the air forces of the leading democracies of the world had operated under restricted budgets for many years and had few modern aircraft. In contrast, the Luftwaffe started with a clean sheet and was allocated large sums of money. Consequently, from the outset, its aircraft were modern, making it a formidable force. The Luftwaffe was given an additional advantage when the Spanish Civil War broke out in July 1936. Hitler immediately sent Junkers Ju-52 transports to take the troops of leading Spanish insurgent General Francisco Franco from Spanish Morocco across the 